So uh, during the race itself, again, it'll depend on the length. For a 10k race, carbohydrates aren't going to have any real effect during that because some people who are really fast will do it in about four, 30 to 40 minutes. Those are a bit slower, and um, you could be over an hour, um, but it's probably not long enough to get any benefits from the carbs. So if you're used to drinking them and you like having the carbs, all is good and well, but you don't need any carbs specifically during, during the race. Um, what you need to focus on mainly is fluids. For longer races, the carbs become a bit more important. So what you could, what you could have for the fluids is, for short races, water is fine. It keeps your mouth um, from being too dry and it makes the exercise feel a little bit easier. Because the last thing you want to be doing is being dehydrated during the race and running around and get progressively more dehydrated. Um, so during the race itself, um, try it out in practice during your normal training runs. See how you feel when you run carrying a sports drink or taking a sports drink. Um, gels are also useful, particularly for longer races, because they're sort of a very portable way to bring the carbs. If you don't know how many drink stations there are or if there's any carbohydrate drinks along, bring some um, small gel patches of carbs, which you can take with a glass of water as you, as you go through. So a little bit of carbs, plenty of fluids. Drink little and drink often. So don't leave it, you're having the neck half a litre or a pint at a time. Just drink little bits and drink, drink often. Um, be careful not to drink too much because it will be sitting in your stomach and it will make it feel uncomfortable. So whatever you take during the race should be making that race, it should help you to perform a bit better, but also it should make that race feel a bit more comfortable and a bit, a bit more pleasant.